today we're going to do some fall flowers and I'm going to start out, we're going to do moms. I'm going to do some bright colored moms for the season. And I'm going to start out with um, the big leaves that I like to put underneath. So we're going to come down and be right over our painting here. And with a three quarter inch flat, this, these are one stroke brushes. And these are the signature brushes. And I'm just going to work in citrus green and sap green. And I am going to go pick up a touch of daff daffodil yellow. All right. So now what's going to happen is let's put some of these larger leaves down here at the bottom. And go in and out and in and out. And let's pull the stem in. Okay. So I like to have some of these underneath. And then as we put the mums on top, you can add some more leaves if you feel like at the end. But I'm going to come right in here and let's do one slow one. And these are good for you to practice. So and I have some other practice strokes here with just those leaves. So see now, you're going to start right here. And here's your stem you're going to follow. You're going to go wiggle out and out and out and slide to the tip. Okay, so let's do another one right here. Wiggle out. And now because I'm on the black uh, multimedia paper, I am going, you can buy pads of this. I'm going to... Um, have the lighter color on the outside. So I'm going to put this brush away and then we're going to work with either a round brush or a 12 flat. Okay. So let me show you what happens here. We're going to do these chrysanthemums. And so let's start with a big mom here and just kind of get the look that we're going for. So the first thing I want to do is I like a darker color in the middle of the mom. All right. So, and you can look at all kinds of colors of moms. All right, so that's very wine. These are all multi-surface colors. So they go in glass, metal, ceramic, indoor, outdoor. They've got a sealer in them. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is pick up some of these colors. So on one side, I put um, Pueblo and pure orange on the other side. All right, and so while this is wet, I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to push and pull around, push and pull around this comma stroke. So I can come right in here, right in here. Okay, so let's pull it in a little bit more and slide along there. So I just want you to see, I'm going to pick up some yellow ochre and some pure orange and see if that covers this better. And it kind of disappears with the, with the black paper. Okay. So now this light is blowing it out because of the black. So I'm going to come out just a little bit more. All right. So this is what you're going to keep doing. You're, I'm going to use the flat brush and then show you with the orange brush, orange round brush. So then I can pick up some pure orange, some yellow ochre. All right. Now this dark berry wine is giving you the center color. Okay. So you're going all the way around that center. And then I'm going to keep picking up those colors again and again. This is Pueblo and pure orange. Now, see, I'm getting the shape. So look, this shape of this mom would be way out here. Now, that is a good four fingers wide. All right. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to keep picking up Pueblo, some pure orange, and maybe some yellow ochre. And I'm going to come right here. Now, I'm not pushing super hard. I'm putting just a little bit of pressure on the chisel. All right. And it is good that the licorice, um, the not the licorice, but the black paper shows through some guys because 
it gives you some depth. All right, so orange and Pueblo. So sometimes I want it to be heavier orange, pure orange and yellow ochre. All right. I just keep picking up paint. We want lots of paint. So there's lots of ridges. Do you see that? Now see how they're curving in and around. So this is gonna be pretty for the fall. And I like to use treasure gold sometimes and get a really nice look on licorice, on the uh, licorice background or this black paper. See, I just picked up the orange and yellow ochre. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have that nice full look. Now I could pick up some berry wine and come right here. Now let me show you that I'm gonna use the round. This is an eight round. And I'm going to do some light colors. All right, so we're gonna pick up yellow ochre and moon yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna come right around here. Pick up and left, pick up and left. All right, so I'm just going in between these two colors. I don't work them in like I do with the flat brush, usually when I'm double loading. What I'm doing is I'm just getting both colors. Now, if you can't pick up both colors at the same time, then what you would do is you'd get yellow ochre on one side and daffodil yellow on the other. See? So we're gonna come in here. Now, I'm gonna do this with just the yellow and the yellow ochre. But what I can do, see how pretty that ends up being? What I can do is put this berry wine here. And as I'm coming in here and getting these two colors, I can start it out this way. And you figure out what's easiest for you. I've just got accustomed to using a flat brush, but I want you to see that I'm gonna pick up these two and I can grab some white and get some brighter color. And I put the white on the yellow, daffodil yellow side. So yellow and white, see? Look how nice that is. So I'm doing, and it picks up a little bit of the red. Pressure, lift, pressure, lift, pressure, lift. Daffodil and white. Okay. And then down here, we can get a little bit heavier. darker colors. Okay, so now you wanna, if that's not giving you good color, look, I'm just gonna come in here and pick up some more of the darker colors. And then I can bring a little bit of yellow this way and I can go right over that orange. See? Now I can also decide to bring lighter in here. Okay, just little bits. One more color, one more stroke I want to do. Now you just see you're layering this and you're staggering it in between. So let's come up here and I can get a little thin 
back and forth. I want to be on the chisel of this flat 12 brush and I can push and lift. Little teeny pressure lift, pressure lift. And have a couple of buds. All right. And some of them just have a little, little bud at the top. And let's use a smaller brush. And these can come down just a little bit. Push, lift, push, lift. Different kinds of bombs. See that? All right, and see if you leave a little bit of the black from the center. We can also come in here with a little bit of the center in there. Okay, and I'm going to come in with a little bit of liner and the greens a little bit of water on the script liner. It's the only time I use the, and you don't want to use medium, that won't do it. But we're going to come in here and come right in here. Okay. Pick up a little bit of yellow. All right. You can come down around here. So it's all this push and lift, push and lift. These are more common strokes, but this is with a script liner. Okay, we're going to grab this flower. And pull that out. Okay, a little bit in here, pressure and lift, pressure and lift and get those commas. Now I'm using just the citrus and the sap here, but what I wanted to show you, if I have some metallic right here with me. Um, now I've got lots of glitter. Oh, here's some treasure gold. On this black, the treasure gold looks really good. All right, so I can just, oops, oops, oops. I can use a little bit. Let me show you what I do with the lid sometime. I pound it in here. And then that's treasure gold. It's wonderful. It comes in all kinds of colors. And this is a water soluble. So it doesn't have that strong smell. So we can pick this up and we can put little tabs of gold in this wine area. Now you saw I dab different colors in those, but I can also come right along here. Okay, and a little bit in here. So practice these. I think you'll really like what, um, what you can get out of a painting with these comma strokes. There we go. So we can push down and lift. Pressure lift and get all these metallic, really pretty looks in here. All right. See that shiny? We're going to come in here and add a little bit to the stems. And one more thing I can show you. So you can put them all up there along on top of the leaves. The leaves. 
All right. But the last thing I like to do with this, we, uh, actually, you can take a small brush and you can do a little on stroke leaves. And I usually do those in threes. One, two, three. Okay. And that's a nice way to fill in. And then I can, I always come in and do the little stems there. Okay. So you can pull it from here. But the last thing I wanted to show you, I get carried away, is we're going to sign, you can sign this with your name, with the gold also. Oops. Okay. Metallic always shows up really good. And then I like to take the handle of the brush and make dots. Get some bigger dots and some smaller dots. Okay. I also like to come to the end of those and curl them up. The end of a curl. Look, right here. Two, three, four, five. It gets smaller as you go. And so just fill in all kinds of little fresh paint, little dots, and that looks like clusters of berries. And the more dots you do, the smaller they get. I just thought this would be a fun fall. Get yourself ready for these moms. We're decorating our front doors with them and we're putting them all around pumpkins. We always do sunflowers and I've done a lot of sunflowers for y'all. So sunflowers and moms are perfect all through the fall season. So around your pumpkins, around your Thanksgiving decorating, and all of these fun colors. And there you go. I hope you like that. Make sure you put it on the Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group. Please come join our One Stroke Advantage membership. For $9.99, you get four of my full length lessons plus 10% off my One Stroke site, One Stroke website. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you next week. So until next week, practice, practice, practice.